This is to show you how to download and install TurboScan to your smart device. Go to the App Store for iDevices or the Play Store for Android devices. Search for TurboScan and install. Takes about 15 seconds to install, very quick. Once you've installed it, click on Open. The first time you open the app, you may have to allow access to photo, media, and files on your device. Go ahead and allow. Your main screen will have three icons along the bottom, Camera, 3X, and Gallery. The camera is for regular images of documents where it is well lit and you are holding your device steady. The 3X is called SureScan 3X and it will automatically take three pictures of your document. It's used to provide sharper images and is better in low light conditions. The gallery will take you into recent pictures and to other apps on your device if you've already taken a picture of a document. Have your pages ready to take pictures of them and click on the camera button in the bottom left. You will have to allow again uh, to take pictures and record video. Center your page in the rectangle and try and capture everything all the written in information. There's also a flash uh, button in the bottom right corner and you may have to experiment with turning it on and off to reduce glare. Once you've got your document centered in, in the window, click on the camera button. You may come to this adjust frame window which uh, has a reddish overlay and you can adjust the overlay to capture the entire document using the red or pinkish dots in the corners and the sides. Once you're happy with that, click on the check mark in the upper right corner. It brings you to the preview page, and in this case, because we're doing a black and white document, I've chosen black and white along the bottom. You can also change the, um, the colors of it if you were using a color photo, but uh, we'll just leave it in the center, which was the default. If you have multiple pages in your document to scan, have your each page ready to, to scan and choose the bottom right icon with the plus sign to add a page. Once again, center your image in the square or the rectangle and click on the camera button. Our frame looks good, the overlay looks good on the document, so I'll go ahead and click on the check mark in the upper right. So we've added all our pages. You go to, through each page and add one, take a picture, and continue till you're all done. When you're come done taking all your images, click on the next arrow in the upper right corner. You come to a page where you see all the documents you have just scanned. And if you have more than obviously two or three pages, you will have an up and down arrow in the bottom uh, blue bar that will allow you to scroll and see each of your pages. You also have the ability here to actually rearrange pages by holding the hamburger menu on the right hand side, tap and hold and drag to rearrange. You also have the choice to click on the pencil, name your document, potentially change the size of the document, but the default is 8.5 by 11, which should be good for everybody, for the most part. I'm going to go to back arrow. And at this point, if you want to delete your, your uh, scan, you can also do that, obviously, using your trash button in the bottom right corner. From here, I'm going to email it, which is the bottom left button, which is your share button. Send as a PDF, choose your email app, put in the email address at the top, you've already got a subject with your uh, document and date and time, you can of course change that and you can also put something in the bottom body of your email if you so need to. and send the document.
there's a chance that with uh, real estate documents you may have a huge file so there's a chance you'll have to break it up and only do half at a time or even third at a time if you find that the document doesn't send. Otherwise everything should go through pretty pretty clearly and you're good to go. Your document will be saved in the app and the next time you open your app you can either delete it or leave it there just in case it doesn't uh, send through but I, I doubt that will happen. Anyway, hopefully you find that helpful and uh, happy scanning.